All right, hello, fun, and welcome back to Kotobo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Tantaris SP mod, which is being made by form user Beale. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a lovely little selection of parts to build your very own Soviet space probes, and all of them done in that stock-alike style to really allow them to fit in nicely in the curve space program universe so let's uh, jump on into the vehicle assembly building and have a look at what we do get and now this is a part of the larger Tantaris sort of a series of mods and kind of a small add-on pack just to add in these uh, probe of bits and pieces and I really do like them as they are some cool neat little parts and let's start here with the first of them the Opal 06A Kveldstrom control block, which is, of course, well, an unmanned probe core with a built-in data transmitter reaction wheel, SAS, a battery holding 50 electric charge, and fuel tanks holding 9 liquid fuel and 11 oxidizer. And as you can see, if we pop it on here, it is quite a small little probe and very much does resemble kind of, um... A trash can. There's really no other way I can really describe it, but a trash can. And that makes me like it even more, because that feels very Kerbal to me. But overall, it's just a nice, useful little probe core for you to use on your deep space probe missions. Now, if we move on down, you'll see we've got nothing in fuel tanks nor engines, but in command and control, we've got nine different thruster blocks for you to use. Now, we're going to look at them all as one, because basically... Stat-wise, they're all identical. The only difference is just going to be the configuration of the thruster block itself. But as a whole, they are the Zircon engine block, which has a thruster power of 0.25 with a thruster ISP of 260 using liquid fuel and oxidizer. And as you can see here, they are quite tiny little thruster blocks. Again, I mean, they are made for this small little probe core and yeah they just come in a variety of uh, different configurations and you have them from the a1 and a2 b1 b2 c1 c2 d1 d2 and the just linear engine block here which is a uh, pretty cool so there we go for all those tiny lovely little thrusters now we've got nothing in structural nor robotics and indeed nothing until we get down here to electrical where we have the Opal Solar Wing, which of course is a, well, solar panel, which will produce for you 0.3 electric charge per second. And if we just pop that one on there, it is a nice looking little solar panel with a wonderful extension animation there, so you can retract or extend it out to get it to where you need. And does have some variance to it. You can see we've got the 0% right, the 15% right, which seem to be identical. I don't really notice anything there, but if we go to the zero left, it just kind of flips it around so you can have it nice on either side, which is handy. So if we did put another one over here, they fit quite well, giving you that symmetry for your craft, which is always good to have. Now after that, our next part is in communication where we have the Opal High Gain Antenna which is a direct antenna type with a rating of a 15G and is pretty good looking. As you can see here, it's sort of uh, onion-like, sort of folded in like that, and then can be extended out to that more normal dish sort of shape. All in all, pretty cool. I actually do kind of like it, uh, how it folds in in that manner. And it's just a little bit different from the usual sort of antennae that we do have in the game. Just a minor thing, but it's something I do enjoy. Now, the final selection of parts are down here in science. And there's science parts, which is great, because who doesn't love more science. And we'll start with the first of them, the Opal Accelerometer, which is, well, a science experiment to log seismic data. We then have the Opal Barometer for logging 
pressure data, as one would expect. After that, we have the Opal Cosmic Ray Detector that will log cosmic ray data right there in the name. Then there's the Opal Gravimeter, which will log gravity data for your experimentation purposes. Then we have the Opal Ion Trap, which will log charged particle data. Then after that one, we've got the Opal Magnetometer, which will run a magnetometer report. Then we have the Opal Thermometer, which will log that temperature data for you. And finally, we have the Opal Visible Light Camera, which will do the experiment, log visible light data. So as you can tell from most of these, they are pretty much the same exact experiments. Well, not pretty much, they are the same exact experiments as we already have by default, especially with things like the uh, accelerometer here, the uh, barometer and whatnot. But you do get them in a nice new Soviet flair, which is cool because it does give you some different design options for when you are making your vessel. Now as you can see here, they're all pretty small, more or less on par with these sizes of the typical ones. Uh, the exceptions size-wise, if we actually pop these ones down here, is the Opal Magnetometer. If we pop that one on, it's a nice little antenna bit that goes out, which can extend up and has different variants of either be extended out to 30 degrees, 60 degrees, or straight up at 90 degrees, whichever your design is how you want it to go. And then, of uh, finally there, my personal favorite of them, just because look-wise, it's very unique compared to all the other experiments here, is the visible light camera. It's not only a large part, as you can see there, but it's just kind of cool. It looks like a big radar dome or something for the top of your probes. And that, well, that's just neat. And hey, it's another bit of science, and who doesn't enjoy that? So let's actually head out on to the uh, tracking station, take a look at one of the probes that I did put up in orbit earlier. Now this is not one I made, it's one that comes with the mod download, so you can see these things in action, and is a recreation of the Venera 1V. A mission. So we have a lovely little probe here. If we zoom on in, as you can see, just everything nicely in there. I do love that it has the multiple ion detectors there, the cool magnetometer bit going out. Again, I love that visible light camera. It's just very good looking. And it's just overall a pretty cool looking space probe. But you can see on the bottom we've got all the different thrusters to give it a little bit of control, including the directional ones, and of course that nice antenna pointing back down to terra firma there. So overall a pretty cool set of parts, and though yes, was intended to rebuild some of the real world space probes the Soviets launched, they're very easily added into any sort of project you're doing, especially since they are in that stock-alike style. I always love when modders go that route because then it just feels like it fits with everything else, and you can reuse it for different missions, whatever your mind can come up with. So if you'd like to take a look at this mod for yourself, which I'd certainly recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual. But uh, that, my friends, is going to be it for uh, this one here today. Hopefully you all have enjoyed and you come back for the next. But until that time, thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one!